Welcome back to the Syndicate Insider. I should start calling this the Syndicate Sound Channel. My business partner of 35 years called me today. He received a special delivery, a heavy, heavy package. He needed to have me help him move in a piece of furniture into a sound room. I said, well, if I'm gonna come help you, which I would regardless, let's give the viewers a look at what a real insane audiophile looks like. Now, keep in mind, you'll see a clip of him on TV in 1985 in a minute. Back when he was on TV in 1985, he was an avid audiophile. Not only was he an avid audiophile, he was an avid car audiophile. It was my first exposure to the insane audiophile system inside a car, as well as in his residence. As the years have gone, as we are business partners in our sports information business, his hobby and love for the hobby has never changed as he's gotten older. He is at the pinnacle of his system right now. And I asked him if he was done. I asked him what he thought about digital versus vinyl. Even if it's a $1 million digital rig, he gave me an answer that I was surprised to hear from someone that just added a digital rig and a vinyl rig simultaneously in his system in the last few weeks. So without further ado, I'm going to jump to the tour in his residence. Hope you audiophile maniacs enjoy it. Good day and good luck. Sure, but you're rolling, Ted. Trust me, dude. Do you like eight the in a row. Game, Ted? I know what you want to know. I All right, so go ahead. So, like, Wait, I you put these legs on? Yeah, because it came without the, you know, the legs were separate. Okay. So, so that's that. Wait, wait, wait. We have to have a game plan. Okay, the game plan, we're going to stand it just this the back, that's the front, we're just going to stand it right Yeah, I get here. it. So what you need to do is you need to lift it up. Okay. I'm going to I, I'm gonna get my foot under, yeah, go ahead, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop, right there, hold on. Oh, I see what you're doing here. Okay, now, hold on. Lift from the second shelf down. Yeah, go ahead, lift it. I just didn't want to put all that stress on, on those legs. I guess it doesn't matter. Now, what is, what is now we can kind of pick it up and move it. That's it's, okay, that's good for right now. What manufacturer is this? I got it off of Etsy. It per, you know, the guy hand makes it. Let me see this thing. It was wrapped in 5,000 pieces of this color. And then, oh, they just I don't slide know if the out. Or tape shut or what, but I haven't seen them open yet. No, this is cool. Look, we just. Now they tell you you should strap it to the wall. Okay, you know what I mean. Yeah, but you don't have that. No, well, if you open two drawers at once, it could tip. Because of the weight of the album. Even Dr. Von I'll ask him. Okay, ready? One, two. Up. Oh, you have to lift it. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Up towards me. Me back, 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 back. That no, no. Go to the towards wall. Towards you and towards the wall. Okay, hold on. Let me do it down here. That's it. Oh, there you go. That's good. All right, let's see. What's this? I forgot. What's this? That's the server. All right, and then that runs I into. Put the lights on for you. All right, let's run. Let's go. Let's do a system review. No, 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 no music for the video. For. All right. So we have this old thorns. Fun table that yeah, you we just said. Come back this way a little bit. Halfway between here and there. All right, we are in my partner's sound room. He is just as sick, if not sicker, than me. And let's do a little review here. First of all, we had a we're, we're, we pulled apart the turntable because he's got to get a new rack. What turntable is this? This is the Sakura. That's the base, and that's the power supply, and that's the uh, the the, the uh, what do you call it? Where you put the uh, yeah spindles for the wire for the, the turntable, and then you got your new rack, which we're getting the bigger rack so you could put the power supply next to it. This is the lateral audio stands, and then you got the DS audio. It's unplugged right now, but we're not going to play. If you anymore. notice, the arm's upside down. The arm is. And what kind of arm is this? Like uh, that is the True Glider. Correct. And this is the new Sakura table from Dr. Oh, Vinyl. Came out. Came out great. 
And then we just set this up. You got this off Etsy. And we just... And then we can show you what we're going to store in there. Yes, albums. Right here. Got your records and the old record rack. In the old record rack, we're going to take that. And we're going to put this in. Say a work in progress. So now let's go through the system because all these guys want to know. This is the. That's just a, a plain old HP computer with only one program on it, Rune. And then you stream from. When you stream. From Rune, we're going Ethernet streaming to a Muon Ethernet box and a Muon cable, which you can't see. It's back there. You can okay. see a little bit of it. All right. See the little black box? Uh -huh. And then this is your Rossini Apex, brand new. And then up here, you have the Luxman C900U preamp. Okay. And, and of the... course, that goes to the monoblock M900U Luxman amplifiers. Which in mono version, we're probably... About... Now, this is a stereo that you made mono, right? Correct. You bought You bought two of them. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's either or. And they go up to about probably seven, eight hundred watts per channel. And then you just have that fun. Yeah, you know, just an old vintage piece. It's just of sitting the there. Thorns. And then what is this down here? This is the uh, frequency generator. And then we have the same speakers that I have the Ivies. With the added Soprano Super did. Tweeter. Okay. And then. We have the Andra center. center channel where the screen comes down, which will show me later. And then... Oh, how about power? The power supply. Well, let's talk about... An acoustic power conditioner. And then let's talk about these cables back power here. Cables. These cables. We have the high-end in acoustic speaker cables. Okay. And the interconnects are Klein Schmidt. Or Klein, yeah, Klein Schmidt, I think. Or Kleinbeck. Now, have you gone through a lot of different cables? Absolutely. Audio Quest. You name it, I've been through them. And these are the ones that I prefer the most. I remember when you had the original system. What were those big monster amps? The Symphonic line? Yes, that's correct. Oh Symphonic my God. line. Four hundreds. So you're not a pro, you're, you're equal, digital. So why do you like digital versus, so no, tell Not necessarily like one or the other. Well, uh, you have the, like I was saying on my last video, you just got this, you got new digital and you got new vinyl yeah, at the new same, vinyl. at the same time. Yep. So once the digital was that good, I knew vinyl could be that good. So we took the, the turntable up to the limit. The so what do you think? So for... Digital versus vinyl, if I pressed you, you can't. I, mean, I would say vinyl has a more likable sound. Watch it. Watch it. Don't step into the server. And um, they both sound good. They both sound different. At the end of the day, I would say vinyl would probably beat it out by 15% maybe. Just a different sound. The uh, digital is digital, and you know it. Yeah, but that's an expensive digital rig, right? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. You could have a million-dollar digital, and you still wouldn't probably beat vinyl to your ears. Not that necessarily one's better than the other. It's What's uh, it, just different. more fatiguing? I would say it's fatiguing. Maybe more dynamic. But if somebody doesn't already have albums, it's probably better just uh, to yeah, go digital. Just, at this point, you can really do well with digital. Right. But now the... Uh, this streams in DSD? Yes, it does. And can you change or it just automatically? Yeah, it has about uh, five or six different filters. And then when you go back, do you mess with it or you have A it set? A little bit, yeah. but I'm stuck with the F1 filter. Well, let me see here, the F1 filter. And then you went through a lot of amps before you got these. Are you done? I had the, I think I'm done at this point. <laughs> I had the, you're never done, but I had the, uh, what the hell was it called? Oh, the Clayton Audio. Right. M300s. They were wonderful monoblocks. I had the Breeston 28B cubed. 
another great set of mono blocks. But the Luxman gives you sort of that uh, sweet, non-fatiguing, I call almost a perfect sound for amplification. Now, with the twit, with the, uh, I know you have the super Twitter, but do you find you have better listening on the top row where your ear is higher? No, actually, no. And it was funny. I was on the floor the other day doing exercises. Okay. And I found that it actually sounded pretty good down there. Maybe even better. So, and what about all the people that say you should have subwoofers added to these? Uh, it could be a possibility. I've always thought about it. I just don't have the room. And um, it, could, it wouldn't hurt if you had the right subs and yeah. hooked them up correctly. And what are the dimensions on this room? Well, we also have something in there that nobody knows about called the Mosaic Parallel Line Grounding. If you bend down, you can take a picture of it. It's on the next to last shelf. See it? I got it. I'm going in. <laughs> it's totally passive. but And, I, you know, I really can't tell you what it does, but it sounded a little smoother and better and open to me. Would I recommend it to the layman? Probably not. So when you just, I guess it's about whether you want to work to listen to vinyl, right? Right. It's, it's you got to be in the mood to get up and change records, but still, when you're listening to classic rock and you're playing vinyl and you're looking at the album cover, the album art, there's nothing better. And what about, let's talk about the... Sure, you can the convert. N7 JVC, relatively new, probably within the last six months. Has an anamorphic lens. And then we come over to here. We have Power by Paris Sound. We have the Marantz 8805A processor. Okay. Uh, a lot of uh, process, um, power control. But you really, because we're in the football business, you really watch games and listen to music, right? Absolutely. Let's put the screen down and see what, the, what happens there. Right like once there. football starts, you're not... We watched Downton Abbey the other night here. It was wonderful. Really enjoyed so the see. movie. Maybe we give it a few seconds. Let's see. It should be coming on. Don't know. Oh, yeah, it should be coming on. It takes a few seconds. Nothing is fast in audio. Oh, what do you think about that home of fidelity thing where they're ripping them from DSDs? We well, haven't they, talked about they it. They did a disclaimer, and I yeah. saw what they said, and it probably makes sense. And at the end of the day, if it sounds good, who cares? Right. Where's the screen at? It's either going to come down or I'll have to hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> and you can turn the lights off on the amps if you want, right? Oh, Sure. Now, how many years now since we've been working together? 35 years. How many? You, you, now, I became an audiophile for my dad. You became an audiophile from car audio? No, actually, when I was born, my father had a reel-to-reel -reel tape deck, which was wonderful. And, um, and he just turned 95? He that up. He just turned 95. And he still listens to music, actually, through his hearing aids. Right. <laughs> So now the screen is coming down. Take a few seconds to heat up the lamps. We've got a Diala insignia on the screen in a few seconds. And of course, you can see through the screen, but there is a curtain we can draw, which would yeah. draw that out. But you're still mostly two channel. Mostly two channel. You have other TVs in around the house. But the, so. the sound is absolutely incredible for theater.